Right, thanks for the question, Jeff, and it's a good question. I'm asked this all the time. Um, so just to paraphrase what you're talking about here is that you've spec says 120 mil of Celotex and you've got 70 and 50. Um, so does two layers trap moisture uh, in between? So the answer to that question is possibly. Depends on how you do it. It's all to do with your construction. So let's assume this is your 75 mil. You've got this one here and you've got this one here because you're gonna stagger it brick type. You're never gonna put joints over the top of joints. Now, when you put your decking on top, like so, and remember the fall of the roof is in this direction. Now, I've been reading that in America they've had loads and loads of roofs fail and Although there is no ventilation in this roof whatsoever, they found that the air gets through and runs through these joints and is accumulating because hot air, hot air rises at the back up here and the roofs are rotting. So the answer is, is that can you overlap the insulations? And the answer is yes, you can. Um, just be careful of making sure that you seal them up properly. But first of all, would I use a foil-based insulation? And the answer is no. So the question is here, is what should you use? And realistically, this is just an off-cut that I had from something else, you should be using a tissue-faced insulation on top of the vapour barrier. And the reason why you should be doing that is because the best vapour barrier in the system should be at the bottom. And new information coming through now is that you shouldn't be putting ply on the top because the vapour barrier is helping to reduce the moisture coming up. Any moisture that does come up is going to get out the top. If you've got a membrane over the top here, that membrane has got a uh, vapour resistance. The insulation you've got wants to have the minimum vapour resistance so that any vapour that gets through can get out. This build up above that should be a lot less than the vapour resistance of this so that anything that gets in can get out. Now of course, if you're using a build up that is like that, theoretically that, that, that and that are all vapour barriers and that is all stopping any moisture from getting out that gets up above that. What is the vapour resistance of the build up above this? So hopefully that answers your question. The only thing I would say to you is that we do know that a warm roof construction is really really forgiving and because it's forgiving we know that there's plenty of roofs out there built up like this with different layers and they work. Okay, attention to detail on the vapour barrier is essential. Thanks for watching.